So sine of zero, when we're at this far right location, we are zero radius lengths above our horizontal diameter. We get the point zero, zero. When we're up at the top, we are a full radius length above. So at pi over 2, we're one full radius length up. Then, when we're in the far left position, we're on a horizontal diameter, so we're zero radius lengths up or down. The very bottom, we're a full radius length down, so we're a negative one. And then after a full rotation, we return to the start, and we are at zero radius lengths up or down. This gives us what is called the sine wave, and it actually repeats. It goes on in both directions. Because we can have negative angles. Remember, negative angles just mean we're going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Well, that takes care of sine, so let's look at cosine now. Similar to sine, cosine is a function. Cosine also has an input of angle measure. So it is a function with an input of angle measure. And this is in radians or degrees. and an output of horizontal distance from the vertical diameter in radius lengths or in radii. Meaning, if I have my circle, I can draw my vertical diameter Remember, we start in a 3 o'clock position. So at the very beginning, I'm one full radius length to the right. When I reach the top, I'm on this vertical diameter. So I'm zero radius length to the left or right. For our left position, I'm at negative one, so I'm a full radius length to the left. At the bottom, I'm a zero, which should match up with our x coordinates up here. We get one, zero, negative one, zero, which is exactly what we got one, zero, negative one, zero. So let's plot these points. Again, we're going to do theta, and we'll do theta in radians. And we'll have horizontal distance. At zero, we're starting up at one. Oh, let me also label. Then at pi over two, we're down to zero. At pi, we're at negative one. Three pi over two, zero again and back up to 1. This graph is called the cosine wave. And like sine, it repeats as well. It goes in both directions. So notice cosine and sine look very different. They both have max and mins of positive one, negative one. They both complete one full rotation in two pi radians. So it takes two pi until they start to repeat. The only difference is sine starts at a midpoint and goes up. Cosine starts at a max. Know that difference.